Cheers everyone, this is Blaster Brewmaster here, and welcome to the 2000 subscriber video. This time around I'm a little bit prepared with some of my thoughts as well. So, that thousand kind of came a lot quicker than the first thousand did, clearly. Still, definitely kind of surprising to see how big the channel is getting, how much it's growing and everything. I am definitely excited and definitely really happy to have you all here. Yes. So, what happened to the 1000 subscriber video spectacular? Well, you guys kind of came along really too quickly for me to plan for this all. So, I guess you could say it's been pushed to the 2000 subscriber review. As of the recording that we are seeing right here now, I am planning on tomorrow going and brewing the beer for us. So, we're going to have a special little video that's going to be coming along and I guess it's going to be the 2000 subscriber video instead of the 1000. I had to plan the recipe, I had to decide exactly what I was going to put in it, and I've got kind of like an idea of how we're going to brew everything and we're going to make a video of this so that you can see exactly how beer is made. Because yes, that is going to be what we're kind of doing for the 2000 subscriber, 1000, 2000 subscriber. I kind of needed some sort of plans and everything. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So anyways, I kind of, I guess, figure I might as well open up with that and let you know what all is going on with it. So next thing, Undertale is about to wrap up for good. So, I mean, we've gone through a blind run where I've never played the game and only had a basic understanding of what Undertale was. We've gone through the pacifist run strictly through it. And now we are finishing up the Flowey's Genocide Rock. So, I've got to go back and re-record one of the segments because of the fact that the webcam's microphone decided that that was what wanted to do all the recording instead of this sucker right here. So, the audio sounded terrible. I'm not going to make a live stream out of that or anything because it kind of seems rather silly to kind of do that. I could do it, but you know what, I'd rather spend more time kind of working on other stuff. So what does all that mean? Because I mean, obviously Undertale has been rather a major part of the growth of this channel and everything. I don't think it's going to go away, but I'm going to try to cut this back eventually to be kind of a smaller portion of the channel. So right now we're going to definitely be doing Binding of Undertale runs. I don't really foresee ever dropping that because regular Binding of Isaac runs are not really, I guess, as popular anymore. And the Binding of Undertale mod for that whole series has actually been quite growing, almost larger as far as viewership. Undertale itself, on the on the basic level, is going to go away. I'm going to still keep doing some Undertale fan fights for a while here until I have kind of, until I've really hit the limit of what's out there in content wise. Some of the big ones I want to get, you know, I want to do until I can beat. Other ones, I can already tell, are just going to be so difficult that it's just not going to work. But I want to at least showcase them on our live streams. It's going to be kind of in the rotating runs. Now, fan content and stuff outside of the fan fights. Well, I that's going to be, I guess, up to you. I am kind of thinking maybe I'll start looking into making some comic dubbings. Because, I mean, clearly I like dubbing over stuff. You know, I like really being silly with the voices. So, comic dubs might be one thing, and of course, if you have any suggestions for that, please let me know for different fan content, alternate universe, I, I don't care, you know? I'm not going to do fan fictions just because that's uh, a little bit of a different territory, not necessarily something I'm aiming for here. Um, fan games as well, though, too, besides just strictly the fan fights, you know, if I'm going to do it, I don't think I'm going to do it as a live stream. What I probably will do is I will probably do it in the video games live series. Now, if you haven't seen stuff that is in the video game live series, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga I've been bringing back. That's the whole intention, is it's strictly dubbed over. And I may come up with general content in between to fill it out. You know, just kind of reading the character's thoughts and such. Mostly satirical. But that's kind of what I think. Like, if I do fan games, like if it's in the underfell category or under swap or whatever have you, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do them necessarily, unless maybe there's a special reason. I'm not going to do them as live streams. Yeah, give me all kinds of suggestions down here. 
And in any other comments, anytime you can think of them, just go ahead and throw me some suggestions. I'll look into it and see if I think that I can bring a good voice to it. Because I like doing silly voices for you guys. Anyways, next up. So, I think that at 2,000 subscribers, we should kind of definitely get kind of a few different things going on here. Because I've got all different kinds of things I've been able to put my thoughts to. And I want to be able to kind of share with you some of those thoughts. So... I've got kind of thinking about how I'm going to kind of establish some rules here for the channel as far as both, you know, rules I kind of expect from viewers and such, as well as things that I want you guys to expect from me. And I want you to keep me accountable to these rules that I'm setting here now. So, number one, at the heart of this all, this channel is still a variety channel. So, I've been doing quite a lot of stuff with the Undertale stuff because a lot of people have been enjoying it and I've been having a blast with it too. But at the end of the day, it's all still a variety channel. So, variety in video games, variety in other content, I might make home brewing stuff and beer brewing. I might make exercise stuff for you. In fact, I might even make some morning, Monday morning zens. But variety is kind of my key thing. I love experimenting and I love coming up with new and different ways of approaching stuff. So, that's kind of one thing. Another thing, this channel is not aimed at strictly being family friendly. I curse, and I will swear every once in a while. I mean, that's just kind of gonna be something that happens. I don't do it for shock value. I don't do it to try to piss people off or anything like that. But what I will also say is that when I'm trying to do characters, I will try my hardest to keep within that character's you know, natural sort of persona. So I'll try not to curse if the character is not prone to cursing or prone to certain behaviors. Certain things when I'm in the middle of playing a regular game, that might slip and such, but I'll try to keep at least within that character's sort of persona, in some extent at least. So understand, cursing is fine, the cursing is going to be something that's going to happen here, and it may even slip occasionally even when I'm in a character, but just kind of understand. So. Also with that, if I can curse, you can curse, you know, in the chats and everything. Now, so that's something I don't have a problem with, you know, I'm kind of expecting that there's at least a majority of people who are still going to be adults in here, you know, over 18 or whatever, and I kind of, I don't have this expectation that we're going to be this strictly family friendly sort of environment. I mean, I talk about alcohol, I talk about making and brewing alcohol. I brew beer. Blaster Brewmaster is a part of the name because Brewmaster is the one who brews beer. So, I mean, there's also other brewing things I like. I like brewing coffee, I like brewing tea, but beer is kind of still part of it. So, yeah, that's going to be the thing is the channel is not necessarily aimed at being family friendly and I'm not going to suddenly switch gears just because maybe some people might be younger, you know. So, just kind of understand about that, you know. But like I said, if I can curse, you can curse. Now, I don't want people being mean in the chat or anything, you know? I'm fine with people role-playing. I know that there's definitely people out there who are, you know, enjoying and having role-playing sessions in the and I don't in the chat and I don't really care during that, you know? I highly encourage you people to have fun. That's what I want people to do, is I want people to have fun. But I don't want people to be mean to each other in the chat. You know, if the cursing is getting to a point where people are actually meaning it, you know, more harmfully or anything, that's where I kind of cut the line. So I really want you people, everyone out there in the chat and everyone out there having fun, to just remember, you know, it's all good and fun. So don't take it too aggressively. Now, as far as other things to expect from the channel itself, I won't exactly go out of my way to follow what the big YouTubers are doing. So, you know, don't expect me to just suddenly pick up Happy Wheels. Because, I mean, I know. I've watched, you know, a lot of the big ones. I've watched PewDiePie, I've watched Markiplier, I've watched Jacksepticeye. I don't get into them as much as I used to, but I have a lot of respect for them, and I have a lot of respect for what they do. So, at the same time, I'm just not going to do what they're doing just because they're doing it. I mean, you could go and watch a thousand other people who are trying to imitate them, and I'm not going to be one of those ones that's imitating people. I'm one of those ones that's going to try to find new content for you and find a way to bring it to you in a new and entertaining way. So, I may go out of my way to kind of find stuff that perhaps is a bit more popular, 
I might find stuff that people are kind of growing, you know, and, and really enjoying and such, you know, kind of exploring that bigger channels may have touched on, yes. So I will do that, but I'm not going to go out of any way necessarily because they've done it, you know? Like I said, you could watch a thousand channels. Why do you want to watch me just be another person who's going to be yelling and screaming and shouting at the top of my lungs and overreacting as much as I can? No, you don't want that. That's not why you guys are here. You guys are here for my voice. I just really love those dulcet tones and the way that I speak. The way I talk like Patrick Warburton sometimes when I'm trying to do my sans voice. Or darlings when I'm trying to do the Metaton voice and show you all what a fabulous time it is out there in the life. And enjoying life and having a really good fun time. Now, you love... I don't know. I, I kind of like to think that that's one of the reasons that people really have fun here is because I try to bring something that you can just kind of enjoy. You can kind of feel like the character is speaking to you and talking to you and having fun with you. So that's kind of what I like to kind of think. That's one of the things I like to think I bring to you guys. So, you know, I might try some stuff out because someone else is doing it. I mean, yeah, you guys can make a lot of suggestions. I'll take a look at it. Now I'll see if I think I can bring something fun to you guys. I just don't want to be another one of those shouty, screamy, overreacting type of, you know, shouty McShoutersons out there. I want to be something, someone that can bring something entertaining to you guys and kind of find a new way to bring some fun to you guys' life. But I mean, yeah. So if I don't get to the game, understand that maybe I've looked at it, and when I really kind of sit down and think about it, when I try to play it, I just can't see bringing something new to you guys. So I may even have fun with the game. I've tried a few games where I've had fun with them, and I've tried to see if I could bring something. Uh, maybe you guys didn't quite see it as much as I did. Or perhaps I just really didn't bring something interesting, and that I even easily am the first person to say, maybe I didn't do something right. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. With that, too, anything that I guess you could say would be selling out. You know, if I'm going to sell out, I'm going to tell you I'm selling out. You know, I mean, not like I'm really selling out that much. If I'm going to receive a key to cover a game, or if somebody's asking me to cover a game, I'm going to let you know up front that that's exactly what's happening. It's like I've been offered a key to do this. So if you've seen some of my other videos, I've been given keys for stuff. I tell you flat out in the very beginning as best as I can. Or if I somehow forget, I'll even put a little message at the beginning as you know, to make sure that I'm remembering to do this. Because I feel like it's just more honest to let you guys know. If somebody suggests, you know, is offering me a key for this, I will let you know that I'm playing it because of that. You know, but if I really like a game, I'll tell you that I really like a game. I'm not going to tell it to you because I've been offered it. So, selling out is not something I plan on ever doing. I want to make sure that you know when I'm doing anything like that. One other thing I want to kind of mention is that drama hits my life just like it does everyone else's. And what I want to kind of just really stress, because I've even had some drama with YouTube and some people I've dealt with in the past. Any drama that I have in my life and with my channel or with people I've dealt with before, I will do my best to keep it out of the channel. Keep it from affecting you guys or being something you guys have to see because I don't feel like that's appropriate. If I'm having difficulties with someone, I'd rather directly handle them myself. With that being said, I definitely don't want anyone jumping at my defense to defend me and my honor because I'm an adult, I can handle it, and I've seen some people who have literally tried to send their fans on others, and I just don't think that's appropriate. I don't think that's right. You have a, if you have difficulty with someone, if you have beef with someone, talk with them directly, or just get yourself away from that situation to begin with. Don't be there at all, and that's what I try to do. I try to keep you guys away from it. I don't want you guys to have to deal with my drama or anything like that. I don't think that it's appropriate to bring any drama that I have to the channel because the channel is all about having fun. It's all about, you know, just enjoying life and being entertained by life and I don't want you guys to be brought down because of me. 
The last thing, as far as expectations for me, is I don't do shoutouts. I just feel like I've seen YouTubers out there who try to rely on this as some sort of gimmick to make their channel grow, and I don't want fake interactions with people. I mean, anyone that's been with the channel for a bit knows that any time I do a live stream, if I see you there or if I see you joining and I haven't commented to you, I will try to do my best to acknowledge that you're there and say hello and I'll try to say your name. I'll try to pronounce your name as best as I can and try to figure out how to pronounce it. If you tell me I'm mispronouncing it, I'll try to repronounce it because I want to make personal connections with people, you know? And that's how I like to... I don't want to be someone who does shoutouts because people want some sort of fake acknowledgement or recognition. I want to grow the channel because I want to see subscribers. I don't want that. I don't have, you know, grandiose expectations of this channel's growth. I just want to do this because I'm having fun. It's fun streaming. It's fun playing the games. It's fun recording. It's fun editing. It's fun staring at numbers and graphs and statistics and watching how these videos behave and see what works and what doesn't work and analyzing it and everything. This is all fun to me. And I mean, if I make some little extra side income from the AdSense from, you know, the advertisements or whatever, I mean, hey, I've been able to buy a couple of games off of it, you know? As I say, this is beer money. <laughs> That's all I really have as far as grandiose expectations of this channel. You guys have already exceeded those expectations I had. I didn't think that I'd be doing a 2,000 subscriber vlog for a year or two, three maybe. I don't know. I mean, back in March, I was at 72 subscribers. Now it's like middle of August and we're at 2,000. I mean, I had a year practically of, you know, being under 100. So my expectations have been far exceeded. I mean, Maybe I'll set higher expectations at some point. All I know is I'm having fun. That's what I want. Anyways, that is, I guess, both the channel expectations and the rules. I kind of realized I guess I just mixed them in between. So, final part that I guess I'll go ahead and mention here is I've actually kind of given some thought as far as what we're going to do for channel growth and such. Celebrating the channel growth. You know, future goal plans and such. So, obviously it kind of fell a little bit behind, I guess, a little bit on making the beer and all kinds of stuff with that. But I'm finally getting to it and we'll have some footage of that that can turn into a how you can actually brew beer yourself if you want to get into it. I do. Only for the people who are 21 years in the age and up. Unless, of course, you're in a foreign country where 18 and up is perfectly acceptable for drinking alcoholic beverages. I'm waiting to go. Whatever. If you can find the stuff, go ahead. So, what are we going to do? Well, you know, the 2,000 subscriber video, well, that's kind of what the plan is. We're going to finally do that 1,000 subscriber video, How to Brew Beer. 3,000, let's say. 3,000 subscribers, we'll do an Omegle meetup. That one was actually suggested for the 1,000 subscriber vlog special by Luis Hernandez. Someone who's been around for a little bit here, too. So, you know what? Let's do it for 3,000. I think just because the growth for this next two to three thousand might be a little bit unpredictable, but it could still be too fast for me to really say two and a half to be reasonable. So let's go for three. Five thousand subscribers. I think we should do a charity live stream at that point. I'll have to kind of come up with plans as far as what I would do. I'm thinking pets. That's kind of like uh, one of my things is like I like dogs and like cats. Let's do it for some pets, but maybe I could also do it for something brewing related. I might even be able to get a couple of breweries involved in this too, you know? I could kind of do something like that. Maybe make it something big. 5,000. So, you know, we'll kind of skip from 3,000 to 5,000 on that because I think if we're going that fast, we might as well kind of push for that. I mean, who knows where the growth is going to go. It kind of goes up and downs. It might kind of go slope for a while. So we may kind of reevaluate a lot of different takes. So we'll come up with something, I think, at 7,500. I haven't quite really thought about what. Because all I can say is if we hit seven and a half thousand subscribers, 7.5, so I guess 7,500. Wow, holy shit. I did not expect that. So, yeah. And then if we go beyond that, 10,000 subscribers. Well, originally I was going to say video gamers night. Let's kind of like all get together and game. Well, 
Uh, last night I kind of already thought of Roblox. We already kind of decided to do that. So let's say we make a special sort of video game night where we kind of find something really big and we all kind of join together. I'll find something. How about that? Oh, for 10,000, that's going to be 10,000 subscribers. That's where the ultimate goal is right now because I can't really imagine anything beyond that. Beyond that, question, 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 and beyond that, profit. <laughs> really, I can't, I can't imagine. I, can't, I don't know when we would even hit 10,000 subscribers. Some of these might even be pipe dreams right now. But I mean, there's the growth. If it keeps up like this, it might not be pipe dreams. Gross. So, might as well at least set up some ambitions, you know? Like I said, I mean, at least there's a couple of things where we can, you know, do here and there. And I guess that kind of, I guess, will be the last thing, too, is some people have, I know, wanted to friend me on Steam, friend me on all different kinds of platforms and everything. And I've just kind of decided I can't really do that because I feel like then people are going to be kind of fighting for attention. I just, I can't just, I guess, split myself across everyone. I mean, when we're looking at the channel getting as big as it has, it's just something where I feel like, you know, people could fall through the cracks and I don't want that to happen. So, understand please that I won't accept face, uh, some, like, any, anything as far as Steam invites and friend invites on, on any of that sort of stuff. Now, mind you, I think that we've kind of found a good little medium where we can kind of all get together and do some gaming on Roblox. So, that was a really good one tonight. I kind of really had a lot of fun with that. And I think we'll do that more often. So, Roblox is going to be a way that we can all kind of get together and game. But you understand, like, stuff like Steam and such, it's, I just don't want, you know, to have people, I guess, kind of feeling like there's, I guess, a competition for me and for my attention or anything. It's not something I guess I'd ever thought that I would have to really say, but, you know... It's something that is, I just, I guess I need to establish now, just before it becomes a problem. You know, before people are left feeling like I'm not paying attention. Because that's just the ultimate thing. I know some of the bigger channels have lost that too. And while I'm at least at this side, size, I'd like to kind of feel like we've got a personal connection of some sort. Oh, Roblox, I think, will be a great way for us to all connect, though. So, you guys... Guys can feel free to add me on Roblox, and when we do the channel stuff, you can find what I'm doing there. Because, I mean, I'll probably only be really doing Roblox for the channel, but I had fun. I didn't know what I was going to expect with it, and I had a lot of fun with it. So, we can all join on there if you want. So, well, that's pretty much everything I've got for the vlog. I gotta say, I kind of rambled on for a long time, but I at least was able to kind of put all my thoughts together. So, you know, hopefully that kind of gives you a lot of different stuff to think about. Anyways, thank you all for joining me here today on this 2,000 subscriber vlog. If you liked it, please remember to give it a like, give it a comment, and give it a subscribe if you have not already. I always like to hear from you, so let me hear from you, the viewer. In the meantime, go ahead and raise your can of whatever you're drinking in the air, and have another one on me. Love and peace, everyone. Love and peace. Oh, Jesus. This place is a dump. Do people, like, go in here? Oh, ah, look, oh, get out of the way! Shit! Oh my god, ah! Uh, almost got stampeded over. Ugh. Okay, I think we're okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that's probably gotta be where we gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, I think we might be kinda crazy or something going, uh, into where everyone's running away from. Oh, well, Mario, we're definitely crazy. I mean, you're definitely crazy too. Yeah, I know. I guess that's why I do this sort of stuff. Hey! Hey, uh, Luigi, you got like a.